Sala Braverman was reinstated as Home Secretary by Rishi Sunak after being forced to resign for sending an official document from her personal email in a serious breach of the rules. This was her second reprieve in less than a year, after she had resigned from the same position under Liz Truss in October Braverman had emailed a secret document to a fellow MP from her personal email address, which was against the ministerial code. She admitted her mistake and quit with a swipe at Truss, saying she was not serious about politics. Braverman was replaced by Grant Shapps, who only lasted six days in the job before he was sacked by Sunak for mishandling the COVID-19 crisis. Sunak then brought back Braverman as Home Secretary on October 25, 2022, saying he needed someone with experience and courage to deal with the challenges facing the country. Braverman's return was controversial, as many of her colleagues and critics questioned her integrity and judgment. She had also faced allegations of trying to avoid a speeding fine by asking civil servants and an aide to help her arrange a private speed awareness course. She denied any wrongdoing and said she had paid the fine. Braverman's second stint as Home Secretary has been marked by controversy and criticism. She has clashed with the judiciary over human rights issues, faced protests over her immigration policies, and been accused of undermining the rule of law. She has also been a vocal supporter of Sunak's Brexit strategy, which has angered many pro-EU MPs and voters. Braverman has defended her actions and said she is doing her duty to protect the public and uphold the law. She has also claimed that she is a victim of sexism and racism, as she is one of the few women and ethnic minorities in the cabinet. She has vowed to continue her work as Home Secretary despite the opposition and pressure she faces. Sala Braverman, the Home Secretary, was accused of breaking the ministerial code by requesting a private speeding awareness course to avoid a fine and points on her license. She was caught speeding last summer when she was Attorney General and faced three points in a fine or a course as part of a group. According to the BBC, she asked civil servants and her special advisor to help arrange a one-to-one -one driver awareness course, citing security concerns about doing one in a group. However, she was told that it was not a matter for the civil service to get involved in, and that there was no option to do a private course. She then opted to pay the fine and accept the points, after she was reappointed Home Secretary by Rishi Sunak following the collapse of the Trust government. The reports, which first appeared in the Sunday Times, have prompted calls for an investigation from opposition parties. Labour said that Braverman tried to abuse her position to get around the normal penalties, and questioned what Sunak knew when he reappointed her. The Liberal Democrats said that she should be urgently investigated by the ethics adviser. A source close to Braverman said that she accepted three points for a speeding offence and that she was not disqualified from driving. A cabinet office spokesman said that it would not be appropriate to comment on the existence or content of advice between government departments. Braverman is not the only minister to be caught committing a road traffic offence. The Prime Minister was fined for his failure to wear a seatbelt last year. Two of Braverman's ministers at the Home Office were banned from driving for six months. The Immigration Minister, Robert Jenrick, was caught driving almost 30 miles per hour over the limit and the Security Minister, Tom Tugendhat, was caught driving while using a mobile phone. Road safety campaigners have accused Braverman of trying to downplay the dangers of speeding and normalizing breaches in road safety. They said that politicians should set a better example and abide by the rules that are meant to avoid deaths and serious injuries on the roads. They also said that going on a course in public is part of the penalty and that doing it in private would mitigate the impact.